Okay, we're almost at the bookmarks thing. Promise. Okay, but this is like super awesome also, so I have to cover this one. Recall. Ah, love it. Okay, so recall lets you call a special number and it transcribes whatever you've said to it. You can then send it to an email. You can send it to Evernote. You can even make tweets from it. So it's voice to text and it is free. Limitations. 30 seconds. You only have 30 seconds per recall. But hey, look at it this way. When I leave a client session, session rather, I call, recall, client X, here's what we did today, blah, 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 blah. When I get back to my desk, it's in my email, already transcribed, I copy and paste it into Salesforce. Done. So it doesn't necessarily mean you need to dictate a book. This could be for quick tasks. It could be for something that you want to send to your VA. It could be for something, just a note that you want to send to yourself. Very handy tool. And as I mentioned, it integrates with other things, some of which we've looked at. So this is really nice, and it's free. They do offer a $25 a year pro version, which gives you, I believe, a little bit more recording time and some additional features. Um, but so far for me, the free version has been okay, although I think it's so useful that I probably wouldn't pay for it. So Recall has a web version where when you call and you say, I have a message, blah, 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 it shows up in the web version. And it'll also show up wherever else you tell it to send it to. It can live only here, or it can live also as a text message to your phone, or as an email, or as a tweet, or straight into recall. This is an awesome, awesome tool. I don't know how they make money. <laughs> and again, I don't care as long as they stay around. Okay. Oh, so much to cover. Okay. Dropbox. If you have more than one computer, Let's say you have a desktop at home and a laptop that you take with you, or maybe at work you have a desktop and a laptop that you take with you to client sessions. Wouldn't it be nice to have all the same files on every computer that you're working on so that you don't just say, oh, you know, that file is back at the office? Who has ever said that? <laughs> so oh, oh, annoying. So what you have to do is use a tool that helps synchronize your files so that they're always in sync with each other on every computer that you're on. There are a number of tools that do this. But the most easy to use one that I've found so far is called Dropbox. Basically, you sign up with Dropbox, and you get a special folder called your Dropbox. You put inside of there any folders or files, any file type that you want synchronized across all your different computers. Windows, Mac, PC, doesn't matter. Everything is synchronized that's inside of the Dropbox. So that when you open your other computer, everything that you put there on the first computer is now there too. Any changes that you make will be reflected back on that other computer when you get back to it. It's really slick. And it works seamlessly in the background. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do anything. It's awesome. Um, I'm getting the almost out of time warning. Okay. Um, let me just show this to you. This is the web version of Dropbox. It shows all the different folders and files that you currently have synchronized. Okay, I want to take questions, but I, I promised that I'm going to get to this thing. X marks. X marks lets you synchronize your bookmarks across all your different platforms. So you install it on your different computers, and it synchronizes the bookmarks between them. And then when you're out in the world and you're at someone else's house and you want to access your bookmarks, you go into the xmarks.com website and all your bookmarks are there waiting for you. So this is a really common problem for people that have multiple computers. This solves that problem. Yes? I have a question about bookmarks. In Explorer, I can copy the file and put it somewhere uh, on my Mac at home, using Safari, I can export all the bookmarks of the file. Try this. It'll, if I take it at X mark, it'll be a they file go like this. I can... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll coordinate the two together. You may have some duplication, so you have to clean it up. But ideally, you'll clean them up once, and then they'll be in sync from here forward. This is a really cool tool, also free. Here's what it looks like on the web. Here's my bookmarks. I'm a little obsessive. Um, all organized and ready to go for wherever you happen to be out in the world. Do I have time for a couple questions? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes? So, so um, Dropbox, wouldn't you have to have this, the software, like FileMaker, for example? I'd have to buy another set of, you know, they, they will only license one computer at a time. So here's how it works. Dropbox, you pay for the service. They have this little widget that lives on your computer. It's like a two megabyte download or something. It lives on your computer. In the background, it's synchronizing things. So you sign up. 
you have the license, not your computers. As many computers as you want. So that's not an issue, what, what I just said. You don't have to have FileMaker on two machines to share. No, if, if you want to open, open the files, files, you need to program whatever you Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, but this is just about the files themselves. This synchronizes the files themselves. If you need to open the files on multiple computers, you need to have the program that you so, need to open okay. and close them. And one other thing about both of these, Dropbox and Xmarks, is that Syncing uh, is always trouble for me with my iPhone because uh, it'll erase things. That's what really scares me. And when I did, iPhone will do what, what you're talking about, the X marks, but it's all jumbled. Your question about, does it organize them? Mm -hmm. You've tried X marks? Not X marks, no. But uh, iPhone Sync does the same thing. iPhone Sync is funky. It is funky. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah. the, the secret <laughs> of the Apple world is that things don't always work. <laughs> what they will never tell you inside of the Apple store, but I've seen it in action. I don't think I have time for any more questions. Do I? Take this by all means. Though. Okay, because I love questions. Okay, go. Um, these two syncs, it requires the names be identical so it can match them up, right? Yes. Okay. So you're speaking about Dropbox? Yeah. And, and I guess it, it uses the time stamp to figure out what the most current version is? Well, typically you're not working in both places at once, right? Right. So it knows what's new. Okay. Yeah. So yes. I was just going to say Dropbox has an iPhone app too that's yes. free. And Dropbox just has a little blue box on the top of your toolbar and you just drag a document into it or and there you go. It's really, really slick. They've thought about all of these problems and have solved, I would say, almost all of them. I've never had a syncing problem or a versioning issue with Dropbox and I use it in my own business. So pricing, free for two gigabytes, $10 a month for 50, I think $20 a month for 100. I'm not quite clear. So with the Dropbox, if I have a file, let's say um, a sales survey, something like that, and you're going out on the road and you don't have access, does this mean that it syncs it to your file on your computer? So if you're offline, it will catch it and send it? As long as that computer and it will live on your computer as well. As long as that computer was connected to the internet when you made the change okay. previously and you've connected to the internet since you made the change. It should show up on your other computer. Okay, so it's not where you're logging in in a shared document. Uh, I think where it's grabbing it and going up. It is syncing it. You have that instance of it on your each computer. Yep. If you want. So, for instance, my computer right now is not connected to the internet. I have this same presentation on my computer that I've worked on on my desktop computer back at my office, and I could make the change here when I go back and get back online. It would then be synchronized back to my other computers and to the Dropbox website. 